Roger once again, Mud Fossil University Physics World today, 21st of June 2018. Actually, this is the 22nd, but they are talking about galaxy rotation study rules out modified gravity or does it? Well, seeing how they don't understand gravity, it rules out really anything they've been saying because they don't understand about the ether that surrounds these galaxies where there is matter congealing where the nucleuses are out here in these vacuum of space vacuum meaning there's no nucleuses that's all the light goes out there where do you think the light goes they don't think light is anything that is the issue that's just it's an, and that is an insane proposition what happens is as these things emit light in every different direction, they are electrons. They're not nothing. They go into this atmosphere out here, which is completely filled with it was called and is now again called the ether. The ether. It's negative particles. As this spins, the these negative particles that are surround every single piece of matter there is no matter that does not have negative particles surrounding it all positive cores have negative orbitals these negative balls of stuff come slamming against the negatives that are in the ether slowing down the rotation of the galaxies all right, before we go any further, here's the proposition that is just literally insanity. The sun spits out particles. They spit out particles. They're not magnetic waves of nothingness. They're particles shaken so violently in the area of the sun's heat and compressed forcing all these particles into each other's magnetic regions and they're, they're like balloons and they're like beach balls forcing each other in and then just going Bloof! and popping and some of them go flying through space and there are heavy ones and there are light ones. The heavy ones can consist of nuclear particles as well which is, I call it nuclear flooded particles. There are no neutrons. They're positives with enough negatives attached to them to overcome the positives and then the additional negatives coming in are held at bay and I will show you in a tiny little toy that it's very very obvious that that's the case now once they spit these electrons out of here they don't go nowhere they come over here and then they slap you in the face on earth and burn your face they come down here and they light things up they cascade into other electron clouds which are circling nucleuses and they bounce off as light and they shake those clouds as heat that's what happens and in the interim they're spinning little particles they stay exactly a distance away from each other John Glenn said they say seven or eight feet apart he saw them they called them fireflies he said they're all over me when he went through the ionosphere, which is the ions, which is what is exactly coming to us, ions, which are negative monopoles. I cannot tell you how they become monopoles, but they are negative particles, and for some reason they spin, and I have the evidence to support exactly what I'm saying in pictures taken by Rodney Warren, who did some fabulous pictures uh, uh, through a Venturi slit, years ago I discovered what he was doing he was working in a different area he was trying to get literally and he I think he has gotten actual pictures of some form of of a different creature looking things which I you know which is why we sort of never got together on this because mine was always just a hundred percent using his his pictures to to demonstrate atomic theories and, and 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 I think they sort of came after him about how silly oh this is crazy this is crazy well it's not crazy they're thinking about wormholes and this and that but as soon as anybody normal comes up with anything it's crazy well Rod has done one hell of a job he deserves a hell of a lot of credit and I give it to him and and without his work this would have never been understood and now it is understood and I don't care what you say it is understood 
and they are particles coming through space spinning and they are electrons they spin through space they have a mass they have an energy they just don't cascade or collide with anything until they hit something complete like the space station or the earth then they display then they are manifest that's when you see them do it because it the only thing that energy is is a collision the entire region and realm of space is loaded with ether that's all it is because they spit everywhere they're all over the place they're coming down at us and our plants use them and we everything uses them they're food they're they're like water to us but they are something from here to here and that something is called dark energy and dark matter they've been looking for it that's where it is and they just can't get it and as anything spins through that anything that has electrons in it spinning through it the electrons try to force the other electrons out of their way and it's sort of trails off that's why you get the fingers hanging off the edges of these galaxies all right this is basically what we're looking at with the galaxies this is the venturi this is the particle right here coming out and as it spins out of here we're seeing these fields presented which are the plus minus plus minus plus minus that that follow the particle and they follow the particle because it's a charged particle, it's a negative particle, it's a minus particle. And so as it spins through the air, it creates, it's, it's just going zip through here, just a little tiny twist. And that actually creates fields surrounding it. And I will show you the reason behind that. And I'm going to show you again the, the right hand rule because Rodney picked that up flawlessly as well. All right, this is a set of, of actually tubes of light. That's the particle. You see it's drifting to the left, and you see these separations? Those are the, the disks, and I will show you those in a little better detail in a minute. But let's follow this down. You see it drifts to the left further and further and further. This is a highly energized one. The other ones are, are not as highly energized. Now, it'll start to compress as we get to the end as it leaves the accelerator and now it is compressing and it's going to start to turn into its own little light fields but you can see them you see how they, they take on these strange looking little patterns and then they they'll start to stabilize as a spinning disk and this is how they end up looking and my estimation here is that these are the charged particle carriers so the particle is this little tiny zzzit, and right in the center of each one is the particle coming through the air and presented at the head of it is the field that, tr that follows with it and we're catching it in the time and space and they're spinning through the air like this and and they're 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 polarizing all the particles that surround it now i'll show you on the chalkboard you know my estimation of what it looks like all right, I'm not, if you don't understand this, you're never going to understand it. So if you understand the right-hand rule or electricity, this will make sense. You see the way this thing is spinning this way? That means this clock, clockwise. It goes this way. If you're going that way with the electricity, so you put a charge here, it has to go that way, a negative has to go that way, it is going to spin in this direction as a spiral. We know that. Now, what does that mean? This negative spinning this way, what is it going to do? It's going to try to push all the other negatives away from it. He says, get away from me. And they say, no, no, you get away from me. He says, no, 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 I'm going. Because I'm spinning, I'm light, I've got more power than you. You get out of my way. And it just pushes them all away from them. And they line up their fields away from that. And you end up with this kind of a configuration. The center pushes the first ones out to an exact distance because it's just exactly a certain amount of push. And they have a certain amount of pushback, so you get that ring, then these push the other ones, then the next ones push the other ones, and they all separate into these little dots seen magnificently in the pictures that I showed. Alright, so it's basically as simple as this. You got, you've got your particle going straight down here, creating these fields around it as it spins in this direction. Well, these are all particles. They're going to try to go around this way. Well, they have, they're pushing. So, and, and this whole thing is filled with ether. So as they force, 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 it, it pushes back. That's called inductance. It, 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 it forces back against this rotation because these negatives oppose these negatives coming at them. It's as simple as that. And that's what drags out those, those 
those um, arms in the galaxies. And the reason they drag into arms is because that material will drag into a strip and then its negativeness in the center will push away another negative layer and create a positive layer in within and then you'll get these feathery stripes running through that circular galaxy. Right, so as far as I'm concerned, this is just another nail into the box that I've created that says this is what energy is, this is what light is, it's a particle, it's a spinning particle and the faster it spins the more angular momentum it has, the more it impacts, the more energy it, it, it carries, that's the mass. They're looking for the Higgs, there it is. The boson is the particle, the faster the boson spins the more Higgs it presents. The more Higgs it presents, the more impact it has against the ether. The ether is the ocean that they've been looking for. It is everywhere. It's in space. It's everywhere. It is free electrons. It's ether. This is known uh, thousands of years ago. And uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. And with the electron flood theory, where there is no nucleus, I mean no uh, neutrons in the nucleus, all there is is positives and negatives, and they conge congeal together into a mass that opposes more incoming negatives, and it holds them at bay. And I'll show you a toy that does that. All right, before I show you the toy, this is Mud Fossil University up on YouTube. And, um, you know, we have hundreds of videos, and there's photons, and photons, and evolution, and uh, electrons, and sprites in the air, and how candle power works, and CERN, and John Glenn's fireflies, which is extremely illuminating about light in the ionosphere, because that is nothing more than a collection of electrons. They even know that. That is the same thing as light. All they are, light is electrons. Either they're moving or they're stuck stationary, like static electricity. It's the exact same, same thing. And the only time you ever, it displays is when it smashes into something or moves violently through something to heat it up. That's how they work. Now, so anyway, that's Mud Fossil University. Get up here, get, get yourself educated, ring the bell, subscribe, do all the things you got to do so you can get into this and learn this. Go up, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos. Have some parties, get some people over, have a little popcorn and just argue. <laughs> they won't argue because there's nothing to argue about. You, you, you can discuss it. People won't understand it. People will be blown away. They'll be upset. No, seriously, they'll be upset. Because they, they, their, their reality is shattered. Literally, their, their, their fantasy, which they considered was a reality, is shattered by the things that you will find up here. And I'm sorry, that's just a fact. This right here, you see that? You see that? That's from a giant. Inside of you, that is microscopic. So there is a lot to see. Anyway, that's the way it works. All right, this is Latham's crazy machines. I'm just let this play. See that it attaches in in a space because there's more. Well, let me just explain this. There's more. There's a ton of po positive in here, but there's enough negative in here to overcome the positive and keep incoming negatives at a distance, which is exactly what happens in quantum state. Identical. Now, that will stay here, another one will come here in your S orbitals, and then they'll start to stack up in the next orbitals, and then they'll line up, and it, those will push the other ones away into exact patterns, no question whatsoever. Now, watch what happens. As he shakes this, that's going to shake, that's heat. As he shakes this, it'll leave it, and that is light. That's, that's the whole nature. And then ones that are coming in are going to bang it. That's how it gets moving. Or other ones are forced into it with electricity from heat. That's how they shake and they vibrate. And then they force themselves into each other regions. And they get hot and they get excited. And they try to get away. There. And all of a sudden it'll go flying. There it goes. That's, that's light. You see this? He's trying to get it away. It's, trying, it's heating. It's heating. It's boiling. It's, it's getting... There it goes. That was light. So that's the end of that story. Go to Mud Fossil University find out about galaxies, find out about the reality, find out about matter, find out about your history, find out about everything that you didn't find out about.